I did a, a residency out there for a year, um, which was great, because uh, I live in San Francisco and it's about 20 kilometer bike ride there and 20 kilometer bike ride back over the Golden Gate Bridge. And uh, it's just such a beautiful, relaxing place compared to the juxtaposition of the city with the, with the nature and the ocean. You can hear the ocean, you can he hear seals or sea lions like barking and, and at night there's coyotes yelping like babies outside of the, of the place. And it, it, was, it was just beautiful. I go up there with my sleeping bag even though we're not allowed to stay there and just camp in the room and wake up early and go down to the water. I'm not even talking about painting, but <laughs> I did a lot of art there, but it's just, I love that, uh, the nature and just the, like, it's the pure beauty of the coast of California, you know. I, I typically work at home or I work around, uh, I don't stray too far with my work, and that was really separating my studio. Like, it was a, hour and a half bike ride, you know, and a hard bike ride to get there. So it was a, it was pretty amazing. My dad was a professor and he would get new jobs everywhere when we were young. So we, I was born in Toronto and then we moved to, where did we go next? Michigan to Lan uh, Lansing. Michigan State, and then we went to Saskatoon for a couple of years, and then we moved to Ottawa, and then we moved back to Toronto, and then we moved to Vancouver, and then finally my parents moved back to Ottawa after I left the nest. So then they stopped and, and stayed in Ottawa, but I just kept it, it just became a, a thing for me just to keep on moving. And I like the I'm not a very good traveler. Like I don't like flying. And I don't. I don't. I get anxious about the motion of of traveling. So when I go someplace, I don't like to do a vacation. I don't like two weeks. I like a year. <laughs> so I've went to a lot of places for a year or more in my life. I would. Uh, Attribute a lot of it to my mother. She uh, she used to buy me very rare um, art books when I was young. They, they were kids' books, but they were way more like um, graphically oriented and, and amazingly painted. You know, uh, Kit Williams or or Brian Froud, like um, just mind-blowingly talented artists. You know that. It, are artists in their own rights that just happen to make children's books. And I think that was my biggest influence. Um, I can't, I don't, I can't say that I draw like any of them, but I definitely, um, the same idea and the same, um, yeah, atmosphere and, uh, you know, keys and people that have houses on their backs and like stuff like that could be definitely referenced to Brian Froud. He did a lot of uh, drawings about fairies and other other sorts of uh, like British folk tales and stuff or European folk tales. <laughs>